Hello guys, it's Michaela and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today, we're unboxing a snack crate box. And just before we start this, I'm not sponsored by them. I just love food. So this is just me wanting to unbox this because I think it's gonna be really cool. I know like two years ago I used to do these, but I was a broke college student and I couldn't afford it. So now here we are back in action with snack crate. Pretty much if you guys don't know what this is, they just send you a different country every single month and it's like all different snacks that belong to that country. So I have no idea what country this is about to be. I already cut this open so that we don't have to dilly dally and we can just get into it, so. Wait, actually, it's this side. All right, you guys are gonna see first. Wow. Okay, okay. Oh, it's South Korea. Okay, I can say I don't think I've ever tried any snacks from South Korea ever in my life. So I'm really excited. This is gonna be all new stuff. This is awesome. Okay, so it comes with like a little thing that talks about all the snacks that are gonna, oh, wow, I see a snack already that I'm gonna be excited. This is just all like fun facts about South Korea. Did you know that South Korean men love makeup? They spend close to $495 million a year. I didn't know that. Did you know that almost half of the country's residents have the last name Kim? That's interesting. When you are born in South Korea, you're already considered a year old. It's like when you're born, you're one years old. So I would really be 23 in South Korea. That's kind of cool. All right, let's get into it. I'm not gonna know how to read any of this because <laughs> it's in Korean. So the first thing are, yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna show you guys. It looks like chips if I were to guess. Oh, okay, it says on here they're called I'm gonna butcher this. I'm so sorry, guys. Go Chujing Noodle Bites. Noodle bites. That's cool. Oh my god, it smells like it smells like ramen noodles. These smell exactly like ramen noodles, and I love ramen noodles, so I'm really excited. Mmm. Oh, they got a little kick to it. I don't know how I feel about these because they taste like ramen noodles, but they're sweet almost. And I feel like they should be straight salty. I don't know if I'm a big fan of these. I'm gonna put these on this side. I'm gonna pick my favorite snack and that'll be the winner, but I don't think that's gonna be my favorite snack. It's okay. Next up, we have these little, it's cute, it's like a little kitty treat. They're gummies. And on here it says they're called Sojun Yang Jelly. Ooh, these smell good, they smell like peach. Oh my gosh, the little kitty paws. Look at this. Ooh, mm, these are good, they're fruity. Definitely tastes like peach. Oh, it says right here, it's like a grapefruit. These are going in the yes pile for sure. I like those a lot. This sheet doesn't have all the snacks down on it. I guess it only highlights like the top snacks. So I have no idea what to call these. These look like, they're like little black stars. For some reason I have a hunch they're gonna be like licorice. And I'm not a licorice girl, but we'll see. Ooh, these smell good. They smell really like sweet. Ooh. I like these a lot. This should be a highlighted snack. Wow, these are in first place. I like these, that's good. All right, so next we have a Milkis strawberry drink. It's a strawberry carbonated drink. Very interested to try this. I hope it's not gonna like explode on me. I don't know if I shook it up on accident or not. Let's see, okay, cool. I feel like I have to smell everything before I try it. Ooh, this smells good. And I, oh! This is, this is good. Oh my gosh. I feel like American carbonated drinks are like super fizzy. I think it was like a vine or something. The guy that has like the spicy Sprite, he's like, ooh, spicy or spice? whatever. This is carbonated, but it's not like spicy. It's like a slight like, mm, but it's not like. Mm. All right guys, we have so many snacks in here. <laughs> What's next? This says white on it and then kooky dase. Ooh, it's all crumbled up. Okay, so it's what the package said, it's white. I think it's just like a cookie. Ah, okay, this is kind of cute. There's a little chocolate swizzle thingy, swirly down the middle. Mmm, it's very soft. That's a good snack. I would eat those. I think this might be in first place now. I like gummies, but like, if I was gonna eat like a snack snack, I feel like gummies are like too sweet. You can only have a couple, but like I would eat a whole box of those cookies. What's next? This is not on the list either. I don't know what this is. It almost looks like a Twinkie. It is not a Twinkie. This is salty. It smells salty. It's like hard and sticky too. Like I feel like it's gonna have like a crunchy texture. I don't know. This is what it looks like. Mm. It's not good. I don't like this. It's like a rice cake, but it tastes bad. Oh. It's a sticky, weird texture. Like, listen, I don't like this. 
You're going in the no pile, ugh. Okay, so we have a custard cream cake, but this is written in English. Interesting. It's spongy soft cakes filled with rich custard cream. Not really a custard girl. Like custard filled donuts are not really my jam. I don't like things that are way too sweet. This smells good though. All right, that's what it looks like. I'm trying to get the custard. It's like hard custard. No, this is not good. I don't like this one. It's like really dry cake, but it doesn't taste like cake. It tastes like a really expired Twinkie. That's a no for me. What's next? Have a good time with the butter waffles of crown. Butter waffles, interesting. I wonder if in like South Korea, some of these snacks have like the Korean writing on it, but also English. Like I wonder if this is how it would really be sold there. Cause some of these are written only in English, like that one. Some of them are only Korean, and then there's this one, and it's like a mixture of both. Okay, butter waffles. Oh, these smell like Pizzelli's. Mmm, these taste exactly like Pizzelli's. They're just not flaky and soft, they're like harder. Which, coming from a texture point of view, I prefer Pizzelli's because I like the flaky like melt, but these taste amazing. It's not my favorite though, but it's really good. I have no idea what this is. This is so cool. Snack crate is so cool. Like when else would I be able to just try snacks like this? This is what the little bag looks like. I think it's gonna be like, uh, like chips, but like sticks. Yep. This is what it is. They're good, but they're not special. It's literally just like sticks of potato with like slight seasoning. I don't know how else to describe it. I don't know how much I like them though because they're kind of like the ramen chips. They're kind of sweet, but they should just be salty in my opinion. I'm gonna put it in the no pile because I don't think I would eat those again. Ooh, this is a big noodle snacks, but it comes like, it's a big thing. It's like ramen noodles. I was like, am I supposed to like make these? Is this noodles? But it says on here specifically, don't boil it, smash it. Take out the spices and smash noodle. So I'm supposed to open the top. Well, I'm supposed to smash it. Wait, I'm supposed to open it, take out the spices, then smash noodle, then sprinkle the spices and then shake it and enjoy it. And it's bulgogi flavor. It looks like meat with like mushrooms and stuff. I don't really know. I'm excited for this. This is gonna be fun. We're gonna get ramen. So it's literally ramen noodles. I kind of want to boil these and have pasta. I love ramen. Wow, so they like, I've heard that like in other countries, they like will literally just eat ramen noodle like this. They won't even like boil the pasta and cook it. So this is definitely interesting. I like this, I can't wait to try it. Oh wow, so now we have this situation inside. Put the seasoning in there. Ooh, this smells good. This makes me wanna boil it and have pasta. Okay. Okay, this is definitely interesting. I like this, but I think coming from a very uncultured Americanized view, I would rather cook this and have pasta. Like I'm literally craving this to be pasta. If I were to boil this and have pasta, that would be a meal. But if it's not boiled and it's not like a soupy pasta, it's just a snack. I'm gonna put this in the yes pile. I enjoyed that. It's a little bit too much seasoning. I think that's another reason why I want it to be cooked, but I like it. Ooh, I like this. This is a cool texture. You know how in America it's like 60% bag, 40% snack? This is like 100% snack. And there's a little cute penguin on it and all I can really read is peekaboo, horror roar, pororo. I'm assuming it's gonna be like a strawberry flavored thing. Whoa, is this like a juice? Mmm, it's jelly candy. I love the texture of jelly candy. Do you guys remember on TikTok when those jelly things were trending? The jelly fruit candy and it was like, you try to bite in it and it either goes in your mouth or it squirts everywhere. This is the vibe I'm getting from this. I don't really like the flavor though because it almost tastes like a strawberry medicine. I don't think I would eat this again unless it was a different flavor. Another flavor would probably hit, but I'm putting this in the no pile. A choco pie, happy moments. This looks like something I'm gonna like. This kind of smells like Hostess products. Mmm, it's soft, but I don't like it. I think they make their like vanilla cakes different than we do, but I don't like it because in my opinion, it's very dry and it doesn't really taste like vanilla. I don't know if it's supposed to taste like vanilla. I don't know if they're going for like lemony, but I don't really like this. I have no idea what this is. This is not on the thingy. And then the back is just, no, oh, kitty cats. I'm noticing a theme here. Everything's like kitty cat themed. Mmm, this smells like a chocolate chip cookie. That's what it is. I feel like this is probably gonna hit. 
Mm -mm. <laughs> no, there's something. No, chocolate chip cookie is not supposed to be chewy and gooey. No, no, no. And it doesn't taste good either. No, no, no. We only have four more things left. This looks, oh, it's called a French pie, and it looks like it's gonna be apple flavored. It doesn't really smell too apple-y, but it smells good. These are messy snacks. They're very flaky. So it looks like there's a little bit of like apple glaze. Let me make sure I get that in my bite. This honestly has no flavor. It doesn't really taste like anything, and the apple's very sweet, so I'm saying no. It's not the worst thing, but I wouldn't eat it again. This is coffee and I hate coffee. I'm very picky if you couldn't tell. I don't like coffee, so I'm gonna open it. And if it smells like coffee, I'm gonna take the slightest nibble ever because I have to try everything, but I'm not gonna like it. Oh my gosh, this literally smells like Starbucks. I'm just realizing the number one place is this cookie and it's the same brand. And this tasted so good, I'm sure this is gonna taste like coffee. So coffee lovers probably would like it. I'm just gonna take a little. Yup, literally tastes like what Starbucks smells like. So I'm saying no, but if you like coffee, that's the snack for you, hands down. There's like coffee flavored things, but that tastes like I just drank it. Ooh, I said I'd probably like this in a different flavor. Look, I think this is mango. It looks like a mango. And this one has a little ducky on it. Okay, I'm excited. Let's test this out. It's like God was listening and answered my prayers and gave me a different flavor. No. It's like the initial taste is good, but then like as you chew it and the aftertaste, it tastes like I just took medicine. Fortunately, that's going to the no pile. All right, I have one last thing left. It almost feels like it's gonna be like gum or like high chews or something. They're grape. Yep, this is exactly what I thought it would be. It's these little like wrapped candy things. This is probably gonna be good. I feel like these are always good. Yep, it smells good. It almost tastes lemony. It's gonna take me forever to chew it though. Oh, this is cute. Oops, your snacks are gone. So, we had a pretty successful snack crate unboxing. I'm very picky and I'm not gonna lie. I'm so uncultured when it comes to eating food. I love American food. I'm really not a spices kind of girl and I will admit that for days. So when I try stuff from other countries and I like it, I'm like, okay, yeah. Like I'm happy and I'm proud of myself because I'm very, very picky. I'm the type of girl where like, it's just like steak and mashed potatoes over here. I don't really like Indian food. I really, I don't like Mexican food very much. I don't like Asian food. Like <laughs> I'm very, very, very Caucasian. However, I had a lot of successful snacks here. So this was really exciting. I think my favorite 100% was this cookie and I can't wait to finish this. Second place was definitely these gummies. And then I'm really in the mood for something salty right now. So I think I'm gonna say these were my third favorite. However, I really do wish that these were like cooked. So yeah, South Korea. I love your snacks. This was great. We're gonna forget these exist. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Next month, I'll be getting a new box, so I can't wait to unbox that one, and hopefully we have a high success rate with that one, too. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. The bag. I take care of myself, no, I don't need that.